We live there next to Scales, which is a little grocery shop. Um, and the thing that I remember quite clearly was when, on a Sunday in the summertime, they made the ice cream to sell. I can see it now, churning this ice cream in the backyard. They were very nice people. The other thing I remember, because they also had a cat in the front of the shop window, and the, they never seemed to show any products in the uh, window. What they did, a um, representative from the um, Imperial Tobacco Company would come with loads of empty cartons, cigarette cartons. They're all folded up. He set them all up and with some um, glue, a little uh, tube of glue and pins, he would arrange a wonderful display of uh, gold flake or um, players, cigarettes. And these would be occupying most of the window. And then for some reason, they'd stay there, uh, stay there for some weeks or and then he'd come back and take it all down and build up another one. <laughs> I should imagine they must have got some uh, income from that, so it paid them to display the cigarettes uh, products rather than uh, what they were selling inside the shop. <laughs> Can you remember any other shops? Uh, Mrs Porter across the road, almost opposite us, she was a widow and uh, I think she must have married twice because we've got a photograph where my sister is a bridesmaid. Uh, but I can always remember as just the one woman there. She had what you would call a convenience store. It was an uh, early version of Tesco's convenience. She sold just about everything. Uh, and I can always remember the leg of ham on the counter. It was there all day long. <laughs> we never had refrigerators in those days, didn't we? And the other thing that struck me is she also start off cutting across horizontally, but the time she finished, <laughs> the cut was like that, wasn't it? Um, the other thing, of course, was uh, she sold elastic uh, for people and other things that she had to measure. And she had this brass measure attached to the front of the counter. And it was always said that when she sold elastic, she would stretch it a bit. <laughs> <laughs> Old, uh, <laughs> but uh, she, uh, this, um, on a Saturday, the cattle would be coming through Carrigut to go to the market uh, in the centre of the city, and it was quite common because she had two doors on the uh, front of her shop, and when they were opened in the summertime, uh, it was quite. I remember several times you'd be in the shop and suddenly. A cow would suddenly poke his head through and come halfway into the shop. And of course, when a cow is halfway into the shop, it's very difficult to get rid of it, get it out again. But she seems to take it in a stride. She sold just about everything you could think of. Um, I'd say opposite was the scales. Uh, there was a fish shop, flower do. And of course, in those days, the, um, the general order was two and a one, wasn't it? Tuppany piece of fish and a penny worth of chips. And uh, I think next term was uh, shoe repairers. I can remember being friendly with the son, but I can't remember the name. But, um, shoe repairer. Going up the street, Cable, the dairy man. He had a large uh, container of milk on his counter. He didn't seem to have much else in the shop, but he obviously went around delivering milk. And of course, people would uh, go out with a jug, wouldn't they? And he'd have his label, uh, dip in, and you, you'd have your pint of milk in the jug. Or you'd go up to cables and uh, you know, with a jug and get milk. There was a green grocer's name, Jex, which I don't remember much about, I can vaguely remember it. Um, and then on the other side, to the entrance of Jarrell's Works, which was Jarrell's Printing Works was on that side, Mrs Porter had another shop, and I think her daughter ran that, because looking in the um, Kelly's directory, both shops are under her name, but I can seem to remember her daughter ran the one next to Jarrell's entrance, because it was a little gold mine, wasn't it? Cigarettes and sweets and everything as they went in and out of the factory. 
coming back towards our house, before we came to Scales' shop, there was what we call a rag and bull man shop. And all I can remember is dusty sacks. <laughs> I can almost smell the dust now. Uh, you took a rabbit skin, you got sixpence for a rabbit skin, which wasn't bad, was it? 